Closure does not exist. I know you think if you hear somebody tell you something that it's all going to make you better. But oftentimes what happens is our brain is trying to make sense of something because it's really, really hard to accept that somebody else might not like us. I actually have a different take. I understand what Sabrina is saying here, which is that yes, our brains are trying to wrap around the idea that someone may have left us and not liked us. However, in a traditional healthier breakup, the reasons are clear and we don't have to seek out for closure. And usually the people who are looking for closure are people who've come off the back of very abrupt endings typically with people who have severe avoidant attachment. It is really important to understand that we do need a level of closure to finish off that chapter of our lives and put it in the past. That includes assessing what were we dealing with? What's my responsibility? What's their responsibility? What were the attachment issues that were at play? And even though I have said on record, going to your ex to try and get closure may not give you what you're looking for, Here's the deep irony to this. Maybe you do just need that one last interaction with your ex to understand what the heck you were dealing with. Now, I wanna make it very clear. If going back to your ex is someone who is physically, emotionally, or verbally abusing you, hell no, don't go back to them. But for the rest of the people out there, if you feel that just by interacting them with one more time or even a handful of times gets you to a point where you're so frustrated and realize you can't move mountains on your own and they also have some trauma that they don't wanna work on, Maybe that's the thing that will set you free.